More than a year after a Sunday Gleaner expose revealed that anorexic control systems at two of Jamaica's leading hospitals were failing to secure the private and confidential medical history of its patients, nothing much has changed. A recent visit of the University Hospital of the West Indies has revealed that things might have even gotten worse because personnel employed to the hospital's medical records library were using a stack of what is supposed to be sacrosanct documents as a doorstop. In addition, on the first day of the two-day covert assignment, our undercover reporters noticed that hundreds of medical records were also being stored in boxes on a corridor adjacent to the medical records library. On day two, both anomalies remained. Two members of our news team were also able to gain access to another room filled with thousands of medical records, remove a few of them from the shelves, take pictures and stack them back on the shelves without being interrupted. After last year's investigation gave the health institution a black eye, the hospital's management pledged to tighten security measures and track the movement of visitors like a hawk. None of that happened. It appears they've only paid lip service to a matter the hospital's CEO conceded was a serious breach. Efforts to get a comment from the hospital's chief executive officer, Dr. Trevor McCartney, and the medical chief of staff were unsuccessful. Until then, if you have been a patient at the University Hospital of the West Indies, your medical history, which is to be kept sacrosanct, can be, with little or no hassle, be viewed by complete strangers or persons with ulterior motives.